Hey everybody, you're watching Channel PH. It's PH. Uh, on this episode of Confession, I want to talk about dating, actually. I don't get it. Simple as that. No matter what av avenue I take of it, it always goes pretty... Uh, pretty interesting. Oh, uh, very hot and heavy to begin with, and then it just... Who knows? I never get the chance. I always am the other guy. And like, I've had to pass weird couple days, right? Like really weird and like, I mean, really hard too, to be honest with you. Uh, I just saw a girl that, you know, I had feelings for and to find out that she had feelings for me and then stupid shit gets in the way, right? And I'm in another situation where it's like I end up meeting a girl and I, I'm not going out looking for women too. I'm not going out looking for dating. My career, my job are a lot more to handle than I can explain to people. So I, I mean, um, I'd rather just work than deal with women because like I need a girl in my life that can work with me and I don't mind supporting and being there for her and being the strength and being the support and letting her figure it out. But like, like I'm not going to be the person chasing. And this is the problem that like, I have with this dating game right now is like online back when I was younger, I'd be pulling, pulling girls all the time. And I go to the bar now and I have girls checking me out. I have girls looking at me. I'm talking to a lot of them anyways, like not even trying to. But the one thing that is really bugging me is like, I'm looking for real, I'm looking for wholesome, I'm looking for genuine, right? And when I find what would be good in my life and good for me, like, I, I meet these girls randomly and we start talking and I'm trying to meet people and like, I've been moving around for so many years that it's just hard to explain. I've been single for over two years now. Ah, oh, God, like, the last time I saw a girl naked was at the strip club. And I didn't even, like, I don't pay to go to strip clubs anyways. Friends bring me and stuff like that. It's just not one of my things. It's been a while. So I'm trying to think, where am I going wrong in these approaches? And where is my intuition driving me wrong? But then at the same time, it's just like that girl that I saw, like, supposed to go on a last year, supposed to go on a date with her. And as a friend date too, and just to build a relationship and build a friendship. And then she goes, whatnot. And now I have another girl just getting cold feet dramatically. And I can't tell you how many girls I've seen that got cold feet around me after one date. So is it me or is it the fucking girls? Because like, I see a lot of these girls after I don't chase. So like, I'm tired of being single. I, I honestly am at that point in my life that I need somebody in my life. I need a good woman with a good head on her shoulders. I need a woman that can just understand me. And I'm high creative and I'm high intellect. And I, I'm a tall order uh, intellectually, so I don't care about that side of things. Like, but when I meet these these girls, and it seems like the universe is saying something too, right? You know, I'm not gonna be crazy about it. It's like this one, the girl that I just met, right? Like, I've, I've run into her twice randomly, bought her a drink at the bar, and then like today, like not even sending a message and everything else. Our timing is just exact. And like, like, don't get me wrong. Actually, I actually appreciate the fact that she doesn't like marijuana or smoking in general because like, I need to quit. I'm a singer. So like, that's actually like, it's a nice thing, but like she can chill out with it. That's dope. Or any girl that I date. But I just don't get where within a 24 hour period or seeing somebody else again, other people just jump in the picture and I'm the first one out. Yeah, the experiences that I've, like, I don't get that. And I think that's the most 
harmful thing for a psyche in general. Um, and I've been through so much shit now that it's just like, it is okay. I can't tell you how many girls have stood me up. I can't tell you how much situations. And I've never been the bad guy. Like, I'm always a nice person. So this is where it's like, they say nice guys finish last. When I was the asshole trying to get laid, I'd be getting laid all the time. And when I just decided just, like, I'd prefer being a nice guy, like, it's a different world. So this dating world's really, really messed up as girls just want us to chase. But there's no point of it, like, because the girls are missing the good guys. And it just it gets kind of depressing, and, and this is why I think uh, I've started this vlog series. Like, I've been on four dates in a week, and, like, before that, I went on zero. And, like, in, in over two, almost two-year period, right? Four, like, and either it's me or what am I doing wrong? I don't know. And this is one thing about it that is just, like, that's what I feel. And no matter how many people tell me this stuff or express it, like, reality sets in, and, like, it, no matter what, you're always alone. And that's where it's, like, I'd rather be trapped in my work than trapped in depression. But I'm tired of being alone. So, like, this is my confession about dating. Aloha.